So what I want to do is uh, demo some of the uh, progress that we've been doing as a group. So we've been doing a lot of different sandbox projects. And so this is uh, one of our early experiments with high poly modeling, which uh, we moved, decided to move away from because uh, uh, it just takes up a lot of uh, computer resources and it's uh, intense and uh, uh, for beginners it's a little bit tougher. So one of the things you're going to notice is this is a theater room that we've built. Most of these models uh, were built in 3ds Max, so we've been using models that we found uh, across the web, and I've learned to, uh, you know, add the materials. All you, you can see the colors on the walls, the floors, uh, the door. Uh, these were all done by my students and I. And uh, another thing we did in this map is we learned how to. Uh, uh, start uh, playing around with physics so as you can see the computer's lagging a little bit right now I'm looking at my hands and uh, we also uh, experimented with decals uh, further and uh, the group of students are currently going to be creating some posters for our game so I want to just uh, move up ahead here so we'll go right up ahead so one of the things that we've done is when we grab a cube is there's a haptic feedback which means there's like you get a vibration uh, from it so you know that you're grabbing that item and if you notice this item when I'll drop it I don't know why my computer is so slow right now but you can see that it's uh, you know acting like a, it's a physics environment uh, over here we have a door that we've been working on and we've been programming collisions uh, we've programmed the hinge so that it can be moved uh, and this took us quite a bit of time and uh, we probably won't be using the doors in our actual game because it just takes too much time and uh, so here's another object I'll just grab it and uh, here you go so this is kind of an overview of uh, high poly modeling and uh, material creation that we've uh, kind of developed uh, as a group and like I said we're be we're gonna be using low poly modeling and what that is basically is just uh, models with a lot less vertexes and a lot less, um, you know, processing power needed for the computer. All right, so move on. Thanks.